हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर तनमय विश्वास आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री द मिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वन एमसीक्यू इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू अबाउट ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन बाय पिरिडिनियम क्लोरोक्रोमेट सो यू कैन सी द क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई रिक्वेस्ट यू स्टूडेंट प्लीज रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली पॉज द वीडियो ट्राई बाई योर सेल्फ एंड वट एवर आंसर यू गेट प्लीज राइट इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स अलॉन्ग विथ फ्यू वर्ड्स एज एक्सप्लेनेशन बिकॉज रिमेंबर वन वर्ड सेल्फ इवेल्युएशन इज एसेंशियल फॉर improvement and that's why you should try and don't worry after some time we'll get the right answer with proper explanation i believe you have tried by yourself so it's my turn to give you the right answer so as usual i request you student focus on two parameters what is the reactant or what is the chemical reactivity so if you look at this reactant part so hydroxyl there and two types of alkenes are there and why i'm saying because the if you look at the reagent part it is involved the pcc which is nothing but student and oxidizing agent and oxidation is possible in case of both alcohol and alkene okay and if you look at this reagent this reagent actually very mild and selective that's why you can see dcm or more specifically if i say anhydrous dcm room temperature and 0.5 hour it will selectively produce carbonyl derivative so that is the uniqueness of this pcc but this problem is little different that's why it is unique so let's learn this mechanism so what happens this p this alcohol got oxidized using pcc in presence of dcm to corresponding aldehyde i i'm not going to explain the mechanism in details but in brief what happened this oh means lone pair of oxygen attacks this chromium center and through a acyl nucleophilic substitution type reaction it ultimately produces this chromium ester okay so this is actually o minus this is double bond this is another o single bond and here this o r okay now you can see that after attack there was an hydrogen so this oxygen will have a formal positive charge so this oxygen will release one proton and ultimately get neutral so here and the in this second case it produces one proton and in this first there was a chlorine elimination so overall it will produce one molecule of hcl and this is called student this is called chromium star okay this chromium ester is oxidized in the next step to produce the final aldehyde product so you have understand the mechanism now in the next step what is possible is possible that in presence of hcl what is produced these carbonyl means aldehyde will be protonated okay question why because these hcl is anhydrous because reaction medium was anhydrous and this react hcl is produced in the reaction medium so it's anhydrous hcl so it will instantly protonate this carbonyl carbon and after this protonation the electron deficiency or electrophilicity of this carbonyl carbon will increase ex excessively consequently what will happen the lone pair of these oxygen will attack through a intramolecular reaction i repeat intramolecular reaction and here how many number of rings will be produced the best way is to count number 1 2 3 4 5 so five member ring will be produced and 1 2 3 4 5 is attached to hydroxyl so this part we have understood now the reaction medium is still acidic because hcl and this is actually student hemi acetal okay hemi acetal or we can consider as a semi acetal so this hemi acetal will be produced so this compound is actually a hemi acetal i have already discussed many lectures on this topic please visit for better understanding now so this hemi acetal is still in the acidic medium hcl medium so in the next step it will be protonated this and this oxygen will assist assist for elimination so it will push this water will be because this water is a neutral living group so in the next step what it will result it will result in a oxygen containing cationic species so this so it will produce this and this oxygen is having a positive charge but there is actually two hydrogen so one could be eliminated and so if this eliminated so what it will do 
so it will end up this will come here this double bond will come here it will go so in this way what it will produce it will produce this furan derivative okay and driving process for this is aromaticity because we know this furan is five member heterocyclic compound which is aromatic means relatively stable so this furan derivative is the product so but so you can see here that what is the answer answer is option d now question if this question is provided in your exam less than 30 second how can you solve you need to keep some information in mind that pcc is selective oxidizing agent for alcohol to the corresponding carbonyl and for one alcohol oxidation one equivalent of pcc needed here is given 1.5 so only one oxidation is possible so if you understand this much logic option b gone option a gone because Al alcohol to aldehyde or carbonyl two unit oxidation means one equivalent PCC. If you do another another equivalent which is not possible, not given that much, and here two groups are oxidized, not possible. Similar logic like option B. Now if you look at option C, this option C is simple dehydration means it's a diol dehydrated to produce this tetra means this uh, you may consider this furan derivative means reduced and we know pcc is actually oxidizing agent so it will oxidized and here no oxidation happened yet. so these option also gone so what is left left option d so if you don't know the exact answer using your common sense and knowledge you can end up the right answer and that's why i always started student read as much as possible okay but before going to end one interesting explanation that is retrosynthesis of this molecule student whenever you see any six member compound with double bond just think once about this ret for retro this deal solder so it will come it will go it will come so what is the reagent you can expect that um, means it could be so you can definitely expect that this is a triple bond with this this and along with that what is the another part it is butadiene so diene and dienophile so it's actually a dill solder reaction but actually this is not that much well established reagent compared to that well established part is you can consider that this carboxylic acid okay so this carboxylic acid and how it could be prepared it could be prepared by acetylene dicarboxylic acid and this time so if i do the forward uh, reaction what you can expect that these two will do the dill solder reaction and ultimately it will produce this product and this dicarboxylic acid could be reduced to selectively alcohol using lithium aluminium hydride so in this way you can end up this product this retrosynthesis is easier small molecule but pretty interesting so that's why I mentioned here. So in conclusion, what you have learned today that pyridinium chlorochromate or PCC is a selective reagent for oxidation of alcohol uh, to aldehyde means if you take primary alcohol, it's aldehyde secondary alcohol to ketone derivative. And in this case, stoichiometric oxidation is essential for this purpose. And here, since the reaction medium is anhydrous, oxidation stops at aldehyde state because for aldehyde to carboxylic acid oxidation gem diol formation needed and since the medium is anhydrous no water so gem diol formation not possible so that's why reaction will stop at this aldehyde stage now one of the product in pcc oxidation is acl which is acidic and that's why it helps to protonate the carbonyl or aldehyde and ultimately helps in cyclization an interesting point student please remember intramolecular i repeat intramolecular reactions are always favored over intermolecular counterpart and in this reaction this aromaticity is the driving force for this furan preparation so this is the end of the discussion thanks for watching i believe this will be very much useful for you if these contents are really worthy then please help this channel to grow and i request you to visit my another channel climate and chemistry where I upload global warming and climate change related videos. So thank you.